Hey guys, it's Joe with your local farmer again, and I'm here in our state capital with a whole bunch of my friends from Washington State Farm Bureau. And we're doing a little tour here, uh, meeting some senators and legislators, we have a grand old time talking about farm topics and farm policies. There's Bailey, say hi Bailey. Oh, she's taking a picture of me now. Okay, so we'll show you how this is done here, guys. Was mentioned right then, right? Correct, correct. And if a new amendment is proposed, then they don't vote on it. Uh, that happened a couple weeks ago with Wagner's VSP. Uh, they caucused and came back, and he asked for it to be removed from the vote list so that another amendment could be placed on that bill. And then it was exact out about a week later again. And other amendments, they can happen on the, the floor. Correct. You know, after, you know, once it's voted in committee and then it goes to the floor, that, that it still can be manipulated and adjusted and amended um, kind of throughout the process, yeah. but and absolutely then, before. Right. And then after the first out. floor session, it flops across the aisle yeah. to the other house, and the same things happen over there. <laughs> so. There's the gallery. Do you turn it on? Correct. Yeah. That's right yeah. So, gallery is right here. Where the public can hang out. Everybody's down below here voting on stuff. LAs are in and out. Some senators and representatives are in and out. What's the chandeliers? Yes. Are the Tiffany? big sparkly ones. I think, yeah, yeah. Or is it just the chandelier or all the light pictures? I'm not sure about these. I'm not, I'm not sure about all of them. Yeah. Seems like. Diamonds are our girl's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> and a and chandelier comes Washington. in quite close second. <laughs> <laughs> They're really uh, intricate though. Diamonds. That's what's so cool about this building is all the intricate details. I mean, yeah. even just on the fixtures and... Yes, ma'am. It's nice. Yeah. There it is. There's some little courthouses across the state that are still around that are really mm -hmm. nice. Grace Harbor has one. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. Yep. So here, we're over in the uh, Senate building now. This is where the uh, Senate offices are with Ben Tyndall and uh, Rick McAllister? Merrill. Merrill, Rick Merrill and uh, Jeremy Annenson. And we're waiting outside a, uh, got a little uh, meeting room here. We're in meeting room, where's that? This is right there, meeting room three. And uh, waiting to go in to listen to the Senate Ag and Water and Natural Resource Committee, see what they have to say. And uh, we're following a, a number of bills that they have up today. So we're going to go in there. Unfortunately, I can't film in there, guys, but uh, I'll tell you what happens when we come back out. Well, guys, yeah, it's been a long day. Uh, spent the day uh, rubbing elbows with uh, senators and congressmen, telling them our story, talking to them about our issue with water rights, talking to them about the problem that agriculture has with uh, labor, all sorts of different stuff. God, you know, I got to tell you, the, the thing that folks, a lot of folks don't grasp about agriculture, about farming, I like to describe it this way, is that 10% of what we do is actually farming. Um, a lot, I, I've met a lot of folks that say, you know, oh, I have, I have all this knowledge about growing plants and, and uh, you know, uh, botany and, you know, horticulture and uh, ag science, if you will. And, and I'm not saying that that's useless. It's, it's far from useless, but... The problem is with the world environment that we're in, or I should say that the national environment that we're in, uh, my God, uh, you've got to have a connection with business, you've got to have a connection with, uh, with law, uh, a connection with uh, the legal process, you know, how to push through uh, uh, legislation. All of this, oh my God. You know, one of the things we've noticed 
there's a whole lot of folks that come from Farm Bureau and wind up in the House or the Senate at, at, at Olympia for us, uh, you know, our state House and state Senate. And part of that is, like I said, uh, agriculture requires, uh, nowadays at least, agriculture dang near requires that you have all of this uh, background in legislation. Um, otherwise, you're just going to get screwed if you're if you're not on top of this stuff. And uh, so anyhow, that's how I spent my day. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of this, seeing some of our beautiful, beautiful capital up in uh, Olympia, Washington. And you know what? You know, if you guys are watching this and you guys are in a different state, heck, if you're in a different uh, uh, country and you've got something legally going on, I'd love to see it down in the comments. You know, if you got something that's that's affecting farmers in your area, uh, shoot a comment down in there. I'd love to hear it, you know, what you guys are dealing with, where you're at. Uh, like I said, all throughout the United States here uh, is going to be labor issues, uh, especially uh, migrant labor and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear what you guys are dealing with. Uh, anyhow, hey, guys, nice talking to you again. Uh, shoot me a like and a subscribe if you got a moment. And uh, I look forward to hearing from all of you.